And Portia Matthews about to be loaded up into the gates. So the last one's now in. 22 jumps. The Racecourse Hotel and Motor Lodge. Grand National Steeple is underway. All 5,600 metres of it. And the favourite has gone straight to the lead west coast and he looks very happy in his work as he comes down to the carriage paddock. The first of 22 jumps. West Coast and Carnaby come to it together. He took in a high leap West Coast and he is the leader and he's relaxed beautifully in the van early. Carnaby slots across to second. Running in third, Tittle Tattle from Kibu Ward Warrior. And two off at the back is Tell Me More. There's no speed as anticipated and the Nationals stand double. They work their way toward the first of two before us and West Coast at it first. Leads it over Carnaby as they come to the second. Got it beautifully as well, the leader West Coast by a couple of lengths on Carnaby. Running third on the inside is Tittle Tattle and with the head low, on the outside fourth is Keyboard Warrior and there's three or four lengths away last to tell me more. There's absolutely no speed whatsoever as they work out of the straight on their first lap. And the leader West Coast with Sean Fannin leads it by two and a half lengths on Carnaby who's getting a really nice drag in behind the leader. Racing in third is the top weight Tittle Tattle. Keyboard Warrior around it and two lengths away to tell me more. As always, a really good run on the flat for them here, about a furlong away from their next jump, and that is Cuts Brush. And the leader is West Coast. West Coast by three lengths on Carnaby. The inside third, Tittle Tattle from Keyboard Warrior. And a length and a half away last is Tell Me More. As they balance up for Cuts Brush. At it first, got in a wee bit close, West Coast. Leads by three lengths. Now four lengths, now five on Carnaby as he extends a little bit on the flat. Keyboard Warrior running in third around the outside of Tittle Tattle. And there's three lengths away then to Tell Me More. Rolling up into the steeple track in the back straight and Hazlitt's is there next. West Coast at it, measured that one a lot better. Leads by five lengths on Carnaby. Racing in third position is Tittle Tattle, there's been no change. The outside of it is Keyboard Warrior. And two and a half lengths away then to Tell Me More. They'll roll their way up to Shores before they head off to the Kennels double. Shores is the next. And the $1.50 favourite West Coast at it first. Leads by five on Carnaby and Tittle Tattle. The outside of it in fourth is Keyboard Warrior. And there's a couple away last to Tell Me More. In a gorgeous sunshine here in the Garden City for the Racecourse Hotel and Motor Lodge. Grand National Steeplechase, they're on their first lap. And to the first of the Kennels double. Over at first is West Coast. Got the second even better than the first. Leads it by three lengths. Carnaby is second around the outside of Tittle Tattle and then Keyboard Warrior, and there's a break of four lengths away then to Tell Me More. The Racecourse Hotel and Motor Lodge 1,000 metre brush on their first lap is next. West Coast came to the first, putting on a really gorgeous jumping display as the favourite, and they've left them alone in front. Leads by three on Carnaby to the outside of Tittle Tattle, as Carnaby just getting up on the bridle a little improves to a clear second. Following him is Keyboard Warrior and four lengths away then to Tell Me More. One of our favourite jumps here at Rickerton Park. Jumbo is next and they'll come around and complete their first circuit. West Coast over at first. Carnaby took it quite awkwardly, but he's holding second around the outside of Tittle Tattle as they just close the gap on the leader. Fourth in the race is Keyboard Warrior. He's been relaxed okay through the run and two and a half lengths away then to Tell Me More. They complete their first circuit and work around the straight. They're inside the two mile mark. The leader is West Coast. It couldn't have been a better lead for favourite backers. And the carriage panic will be the first of three jumps before us. Comes to the carriage panic, does West Coast. Had a look at it and over cleanly. By a length and a half on Carnaby. Tittle tattle to the inside. She's been very relaxed through the run, the toppy. Then Keyboard Warrior, and two lengths away then to Tell Me More. To the National Stand Double, the second of these jumps won't be here the next time they work around, and we're halfway home in the National. At the first of two before us, West Coast over it, comes to the second, and he took in a mighty high leap, but he leads the field. We've lost uh, the jockey aboard Keyboard Warrior. Portia Matthews has been dislodged from the saddle, so we're down to four. She's up on her feet, and she's okay. 
So the leader, West Coast, works them out of the straight by a length on Carnaby. Now the riderless horse is going around to pest of the leaders. Running in third position is Tittle Tattle and a length away then to Tell Me More. As the riderless horse has improved around the outside of West Coast to will angle off its back and guide the field out toward the steeple cha uh, ch steeplechase track. And Cuts Brush will be there next as the speed has finally gone on. And the leader is West Coast by four lengths on Carnaby to the outside of Tittle Tattle who's made good ground the inside and four away then to Tell Me More. West Coast at Cuts Brush. Oh, he got an awfully close but he leaped over it by four lengths on Carnaby to the outside of the Tittle Tattle. There's been barely no change other than losing Keyboard Warrior from the race and he's out well clear from the field. The last of the chances is Tell Me More. To Hazlitt's goes West Coast. Goes to it and over cleanly. Leads them by five lengths on Carnaby. And the inside third is Tittle Tattle and three lengths away then to Tell Me More. They have about 100 metres away from Shores. As the speed starts to ramp up, West Coast leads by four on Carnaby who's getting close to the Myers runner as they come to Shores, West Coast over it too clear, Tittle Tattle made a good jump of that, improved to the inside of Carnaby and there's four lengths away then to Tell Me More who's just under a bit of pressure, the kennels double as they work out to the first, West Coast pricks the ears, comes to the first and over it from Carnaby, Tittle Tattle continues to make good ground to the inside and there's now four lengths away then to Tell Me More, working off the the top of the track to the Racecourse Hotel and Motor Lodge Brush. Fannin just starting to put the pressure on on West Coast. Comes down toward the next with a four length lead on Carnaby. He made a good jump of that. Tittle Tattle holding third but she's under a hard ride and there's five lengths away then to tell me more. But West Coast has put a gap in them down the side. They're about 100 metres off Jumbo. West Coast leads Carnaby. Then came Tittle Tattle and dropping off tell me more. West Coast comes to Jumbo. Leads by six lengths in the National from Carnaby. Then came Tittle Tattle and a break off to Tell Me More. There's two jumps left to go. 600 metres left to travel for West Coast and he leads them by eight around the corner. Carnaby holding second. Tittle Tattle's under a hard ride. She's holding third for now and they're well clear of Tell Me More. Round the corner comes West Coast. Down to the carriage paddock. Two left to clear. He came to the carriage paddock. He went through it with a five length lead on Carnaby. This six lengths away then to Tell Me More. Uh, Tittle Tattle rather from Tell Me More. But at the 250 metres, West Coast just has one more jump for national glory. He's eight lengths in front from Carnaby. Then came Tittle Tattle. West Coast, he came to the last. The counter punch came about a lap ago. And it's an uppercut to finish him off. Away he goes. It's seven nationals for Mark. Culligan, the first one in the saddle for Sean Fannin, West Coast a brilliant one of the Grand National second across Carnaby, third in Tittle Tattle, tell me more jump the last fence and we'll complete the course in fourth and uh, the jockey came off keyboard warrior with about a lap to go and the horse has been recaptured, jockey is okay and the National is over it's Mark Culligan the greatest of all in terms of wins in the Grand National, that's seven and it was a comfortable watch all he had to do was clear the last fence. There was no pressure for about the first two miles of the race. Sean Fannin put the pressure on.